Hello and welcome to another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com Today we're going to be doing a tutorial on Pinnacle Studio 14 Ultimate Collection HD on how to use keyframes. So before we get started a few things I want to point out to you. Keyframes can be used to change the uh, camera perspective or angle in your shots. You can follow subjects or items across your videos and you can also use it to place video frames over certain things or just move things around in your videos if you're doing overlays. Keyframing needs to be done in a certain way. A lot of people don't know that you have to kind of chain your keyframes together. What that means is you need to have the first keyframe match the second keyframe so that your camera stays in the same position. Then you want to move your next keyframe along to the next position and then have another keyframe after that to match the previous position. So, I guess I'll show you what I'm talking about by starting off with some editing. So, I'm going to go ahead and double click on this clip. And I'm going to click on the Add or Edit Effect. I'm going to go to the Studio HD RTFX and then I'm going to go to Pan and Zoom. Okay, so first thing I need to do is click Use Keyframes. So what it's going to do is it's going to put a keyframe at the front and at the end. So keyframe should be on zero. So I'm going to go ahead and step forward just to make sure that they're both on zero by hitting the little number sign here and they're both on zero right now, which is perfect. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to play this clip to a point where I want to add my first keyframe in. Or let's just move it along, make it a little bit quicker here. So this looks like a good spot to put in my first keyframe. So I'm going to go ahead and click add. So what Studio does it goes ahead and adds the keyframe in exactly where you click on add. Now move forward a little bit. So what you can do if you want to move the keyframes back, you just click on this and it'll move the frame by frame back to where you might want the keyframe at. So I have a keyframe there. So these two keyframes are both on zero. So the camera's going to stay at that exact point. So now I'm going to move it forward to another position where I want to add a new keyframe in. And I'll click on add. Now this keyframe I want to be different because if I just keep them the same all the way across, you're not going to see any camera angle. So I want the keyframe or the camera to go down to the where the subject legs are. So for the zoom, I'm going to zoom in on that to a point where I think it's pretty good. Then I'm going to change my horizontal position because now that I zoomed it in, the subject's not centered. So I'm going to center the subject. I'm not using the rule of thirds on this one. I'm going to go ahead and center the subject. And then to get down to the legs, I'm going to move the vertical until I get the legs in the shot. So that's good. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And as you can see, it's starting to zoom out. A lot of people ask themselves, why did it do that on my video? Why didn't it stay at the same place? Because this last keyframe is on zero, so it's trying to get back to there. So what I want to do is get it to a position where I want to keep the camera on the leg. So I'm going to go right here and I'm going to click Add, and it's going to copy that keyframe. So it's in the same exact position as the previous keyframe. So now that I have two keeping it on that camera angle, I'm going to go forward to a position where I want to move the camera again. And this time I'm going to add a keyframe. It's going to copy the last one, but I'm going to change it. I'm going to keep the zoom where it is and the horizontal where it is, but I'll change the vertical. I'm going to bring the camera up this time. And so because I brought the camera there, I have to go ahead and make another identical keyframe to keep it in that position. So I'm going to go ahead and hit add here. And now I'm going to Now I'm going to go ahead and hit play. So here's another position for me to change my camera angle. So I'm going to add another keyframe here. And this time I'm going to go ahead and bring the camera back down. So 
So I'm gonna hit play. I'm gonna add another keyframe on here where the camera's at the bottom. So keep it in that position. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play again. And I'm gonna add one more keyframe in to match the last keyframe. That way the camera doesn't try to hold zoom to that last keyframe and then it just ends your clip at that. So you gotta add one more keyframe in at the original position, which is zero. So I hit zero, enter, zero, enter, and zero, enter. And so it'll zoom back out. So if you preview, let's just preview a little bit of it just to give you an idea of what it looks like. You wanna preview your clip. You want to get a good look at it make sure everything is how you want it to be and after you're done previewing it if you like how it is you're good to go all you got to do at that point is click on that little X at the top and your pan and zoom is good to go and it's set up there you have it how to use keyframes Pinnacle Studio 14 Ultimate Collection HD. Thanks for watching, and we hope to see you again soon.